Hey guys, welcome to the Simplify Your Life podcast. It's Coach Simona and I'm glad you decided to tune in. What's up guys? In today's episode, we're going to talk about assertiveness and I will give you my three tips on how to express your needs and wants openly with others. I will also share with you practical exercises that you can use every day to become more assertive in time. First, let's take a look at what assertiveness means. It's an interpersonal skill in which you demonstrate the confidence to stand up for yourself while still respecting the rights of others. When you're assertive, you're honest and open about what you want and you can express your feelings calmly and confidently. Okay. Now that we know what assertiveness means, let's talk about why some of us struggle with expressing our needs and wants openly with others. Did you know that most of our beliefs are formed up to the age of seven? And if we don't challenge and reframe them, they become outdated in time. For example, if you were scolded by your parents every time you wanted something for yourself, or you were labeled as bad every time you opened up about your honest experiences, there is a good chance you've adapted one of the following beliefs. My opinion doesn't matter. I shouldn't express what I want because they will get upset with me. I don't want to hurt my parents, so I'm going to be good. If what I did was bad, then I am bad and it's better to stay quiet. It can be quite unpleasant to go back to your childhood and re-experience the trauma. But if you want to dig deeper, I recommend you listen to episode 12 on overcoming fear of rejection. Okay, now let's get back to the present moment and focus on the solutions. Here are my three tips on how to be more assertive in life. Tip number one, practice in front of a mirror. This exercise sounds bananas, I know. But you know what? Practice makes almost perfect. If you want to become assertive and stand up for yourself, you have to become comfortable in your skin and become familiar with your authentic voice. Here's what I want you to do. Go in front of a big mirror and watch the way you carry yourself. Do you notice any tension in your muscles? Are there any parts of your body that look stiffer than others? What is your posture? Now, start saying the things that you want but are too afraid to express at the moment. For instance, if you want to get a raise, practice talking to your boss in the mirror. One tip that will help you no matter what situation you're in is to take deep breaths while you're talking. Try to breathe through your belly and relax your body as much as you can. The calmer you become, the more assertive you're going to sound. You can do this exercise once or twice a day. And in time, you will see a difference in your posture. Your facial expressions will change. And you will come up with better ways to assert yourself. The purpose of this exercise is to unleash your creativity so that you can come up with as many solutions as you can and become more confident to express them with others. Tip number two is to get comfortable with the reactions of others. One of the greatest fears of people who are not assertive is that they're going to get rejected, ridiculed or shamed. When you express your opinion and someone doesn't agree with you, it doesn't mean that your opinion doesn't matter or that you're wrong. And on the other hand, if someone doesn't like what you're saying, that doesn't make them wrong either. We all have different reactions because we have different belief systems, different upbringings, and different ways to express our needs and wants. Okay, let's put this in practice. Let's say your friend wants you to try their lasagna, but you don't like lasagna and politely refuse. As a result, depending on their character, they can react in a couple of ways. They can ask passive-aggressive questions to guilt you into eating it or have a more aggressive approach and insult you for not being a good friend, or they can give you the silent treatment, or they will say okay, smile, and move on. In this situation, you have a couple of options. You can give in to their manipulative behavior, which they may or may not be aware of, 
or you can stand up for yourself and politely decline again. Some people feel the need to explain why they are doing what they're doing, but every time you over-explain yourself, you make your argument sound weaker. Assertiveness comes down to three simple words. This is me. That's where you draw the line. If someone doesn't like what you're saying, it's their problem. If someone doesn't like your opinion, they have every right to, but you don't have to change who you are just to fit in. Be aware of your needs and wants and set healthy boundaries so that people know where you stand. There is a powerful affirmation that I give my clients and I also want to share it with you. Whenever you feel doubtful about expressing your truth, Say this sentence to yourself a couple of times. I am completely independent of the good or bad opinions of others. Again, I am completely independent of the good or bad opinions of others. All right, why do you need this affirmation in your life? Because being assertive is hard, especially if you've let other people step all over you in the past. Trust me, I've been there. It sucks. But this affirmation will help you set the intention to be less reactive to other people and you will become more assertive in time. All right, what's the last tip? Tip number three is to be kind, loving and respectful when you express your needs and wants. Many people have a hard time being assertive because they express their opinions out of fear. If you come out of love, your voice will sound different. Your facial expressions will be different and your overall behavior will change. So let's try a different approach next time you want to be assertive with someone. Let's say you want your partner to pay more attention to you. Instead of sulking or making a scene, have a long and deep conversation with yourself. Yes, that's right, with yourself. Write down a letter to yourself in which you tell yourself what you want. You can start by answering the following questions. What do I need from this relationship? What needs do I have that are not being met at the moment? Can I meet them on my own? Or is it something that only my partner can do? What you will discover is that 9 times out of 10, you can meet your needs on your own. But let's say it's that one time when you want to connect with your partner on a deeper level. Before you talk to them, remember why you love them, how much they mean to you, and remind yourself of the affirmation from tip number two. I am completely independent of the good or bad opinions of others. And then calmly and lovingly tell them what's going on with you. What's key here is to realize that even if they say no or don't agree with what you're saying, that's okay. Being assertive is not about being always right or being on top of things. It's about expressing your honest opinion and let other people have their own. Assertiveness is a skill, but it's not something that can happen in 5 or 10 minutes. So please be patient with yourself and don't beat yourself up if you don't change right away. If you need my help, book your complimentary 30-minute coaching call with me. And let's see what's holding you back from becoming more assertive in your life. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. As always, make sure to like this episode if you liked it and share it with someone you care about. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will talk to you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.